Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be playing Ezreal in the top lane and playing up against a Garen. The reason I'm playing Ezreal, we're doing a little grass setup and we're actually doing like a tanky perma kite Ezreal setup uh, where I'm going to be stacking my tier. I'm going to be stacking grass permanently up against, uh, you know, these melees they got on their team. And I'm going to be just like this tanky monster uh, come mid game. That uh, that literally just perma kites, and even if you get on me, like say if the Garen flashes on me, I'm gonna be so tanky it won't even matter. So that's kind of the uh, the idea for today. And because I'm playing Ezreal, this is probably one of the few ADCs that can play top lane that's actually like full on safe. So you don't even have to worry. Now I am gonna be pushing in a little bit early, which I don't like a whole lot. I just wanted to build a grasp. Me, uh, me do a little bit of an early ward just because it's a ghost tremble. I want to make sure I'm able to E over this wall. So if I want to play safe as an Israel top, um, basically what I'm going to have to do is I'm if I'm wanting to be in a pushing position, that way I can stack my grasp and stuff pretty easily, then what I'm going to have to do is get a position... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, let me just go deal with that. Looks like Gurn's dealing with this. Uh, I'm gonna back off. If my mid lane didn't die there, maybe mid lane could have collapsed too, but Terminal was able to invade since uh, mid lane had a little bit of a lead, so. Yone beating a Yasuo. Usually Yasuo is stronger than Yone early. And Yone is the one that, like, kind of scales a little bit harder. From my experience, at least. Maybe something changed with uh, this patch. We'll see. Oh man, I'm just stacking grasp endlessly on this uh, this Garen. So I think I'm just gonna keep pushing. Like more push, easier shit becomes to uh, to farm. I just have to worry like he's probably gonna build first item maybe like Zerkers. Okay, got a flash. Alright, well, Wave is shoving back into me now, and he has no flash, which is good. Oh. I do not know what happened there. I think uh, Nocturne missed his flash. I think Nocturne is going for like a flash fear, but. <laughs> the future can be rewritten. An ally mm. has been slain. Okay, Trundle's bottom. So. I know, I'm pretty much just worrying about potential, like, Trundle gank, and if Trundle's bottom, then I could literally just walk up and do this. I can get really good pressure on the Garen. Ooh, I gotta take a bit of damage there. It's past five minutes, so now that it's past five minutes, I'll go and use my Demolish proc. If you notice, I intentionally didn't use my Demolish proc before five minutes, because before five minutes, the turrets have a little bit of damage reduction. You don't have to worry about that. All right, I'm going to... Yeah. I was starting to feel the, the gank coming. I had a little spidey sense there. So we're going to go back, and first time we're going to be building this core sheen, and we're going to be building into our Iceborne Gauntlet. So we're going to build this, and let's build boots and a potion. Potion, just in case we take incidental uh, creep damage, but the nice thing about taking Grasp on Ezreal Top, which, by the way, uh, is am I bringing that right? 15 procs of Grasp? How much health is that? What's, uh, so it's what, 5 health? Per stack, 15 times twice, so I'm getting what, 75 health or something? That's insane. If I'm doing that uh, that math correct, you guys can correct me in the comments if you want. But um, it's looking like I'm stacking up a nice bit of HP here, and I'm going to be building into Iceborne Gauntlet, which is going to make me pretty tanky against the physical damage to their team, which 
By the way, they are all AD, so. All systems charged. So along with uh, Iceborne Gauntlet for this game, I'm going to be building into Mirror Mana, obviously, to you know stack up with my tiers. <laughs> the strongest item on Ezreal, since Ezreal is such a spammer in terms of abilities. Um, but we're also going to be building it to Tank Hydra, that way I have a little bit of Wave Clear. I considered maybe going uh, Stack Shiv as well, just for even more Wave Clear. Thing is, I don't have an AP, unless I built, like, a Demonic or something with it. Kind of stack up with my infinitely scaling HP. Nice, got a couple of stacks of my Grasp on him. And every time I hit that Grass proc, like, it is healing me as well. So even though I'm going to take a couple of hits from, like, uh, like, range minions and whatnot, it's totally fine because I just get that health back, uh, you know, every time I hit Grass proc. I didn't have to flash when the Trunnel ganked me earlier. And Trunnel's actually Mia for the moment. So I get to farm really easily against this Garen. I have I have double CS while just I'm just scaling kind of infinitely against him. I'll make my own future. Don't want to get too close where he could potentially get an all in on me. He did build Tabby's first, so he does have a good bit of armor. And of course, I still have to watch out for a Trundle potential gang. So, every time I hit my uh, W against him, you notice how he, like, starts hitting back a little bit? Like, that little bit of a zone effect is really nice for getting him off CS, because he doesn't want me to proc my W. So, W gives me my mana back and does bonus damage. Well, that W lingers for a good bit, and I can hit it through minions. So I can use it kind of as a way to, like, just poke the Garen off. Nice. Okay, got a Demolish proc there. It's kind of ulti. I'm looking for a back very soon. So I'm ulting to get my attack speed stacked up from my passive. And I'm just going to crash this in. Alright, I'm going to take it back. So, the reason I'm taking it back... Well, actually... I'm going mana, but you know what I could do? And this might throw him off a little bit. Is uh, he's maybe thinking... Um, going for uh, going for a back here? I was thinking maybe I could take a plant. Cut out. But you know what? I do have uh, Nocturne coming close. Okay, there's a ward there. Okay, well, we got his flash again. Does he have flash? He does. Uh, I don't think I'm out of that one. Oh, man. The Yone Rome just killed us. Let's, uh, let's build in towards Iceborne here. I'm gonna get this. Um, honestly, instead of building up the full chain vest, let's do this. Let's get as much CDR as possible. So I'm going to get this, and I'm going to grab this. And then what we do is we build a long sword right here, and this long sword will build in towards our mirror mana. So we're building in towards, uh, we get our CDR early, and we can get our E back up as quickly as possible, because, I mean, 20 second E cooldown is pretty high. Oh, nice. Good steal from Nocturne. He needs to get away. Um, Maybe I can ulti and get... Got him. Nice. Calculated. I was hoping that, like, man, if my, uh... If the Trundle had gotten that kill, that would have been perfect, because I think it would have gone uh, a buff. Well, I can't help him there. <laughs> Is he also pissed? He got solo killed by Yone, and now he's just getting mad at, uh, Nocturne. Oh 
nice. Look how many plates we're getting. So, let's see. When he gets Stridebreaker, we have to worry about the time when he gets Stridebreaker and has Flash, because he did go Phase Rush, which uh, can counter our Iceborne Gauntlet slow. So we gotta keep really good range against him. But as you can see, we're able to get pretty good poke on uh, the Garen over and over again. I'm gonna keep my attack speed up. So you can keep your attack speed up by just endlessly casting abilities. Wow, that Q had good range. What the hell? Feels like he had a rapid fire cannon. Man, what a good combo. So I saw my Nocturne coming up. So I decided to bait the uh, the Garen into pushing in. And it ended up being so perfect. So I baited the Garen into trading me. And look how tanky I am. Like, I've got the Cloth Armor. I've got the, uh, the Kindle Gem uh, working with me. And because I'm so tanky... He wasn't able to just completely one-shot me in his combo because he went face rush on Conqueror. And it got him like far enough outside his turret where the Nocturne just ult him and kill him. Where told me he'd just be sitting under there perfectly safe, right? Like I can poke Garen all day, but until I get a little bit more damage, uh, he's not really being pushed out of lane. So building Iceborne. Now we could go into something like Sundra too. And that is a possibility with this build if we want to go a little bit more damage. But I like the control. Of high spring going. The control is uh, what's going to allow me to dominate this game. Because I'll never allow them to get on me. Only person on their team who I'm kind of afraid of is Yone. And that's just because, I mean, he's a 200 years champ with like 9,000 ways of dashing in. Um, that being said, just like how I avoided his, his, his Q3 and his ulti up here just by sidestepping, I can still outplay it. And being in a good spot. Plus, like, the cooldowns on my abilities can be so high. And even when Yone gets on me. And that's kind of, like, the purpose of this kind of build. It's like, you're playing Ezreal against somebody that for sure will get on you, right? Right? You can't get away from it. I mean, Garen used the Fog of Wards to try to get, uh, to get on me, though, right? If Yone was a little bit lower, maybe. Want to make sure my Iceborne Gone's back up? Oh, she took the kill. Oh, well. I'm a computer. <laughs> no. Uh, looks like he's gonna get that turret no matter what. I'm just gonna shove in mid. We'll let the also cover top. I think this is gonna net us more experience, both of us combined. Um, I'm gonna TP and then... I'm gonna, I'm gonna back and then TP bottom, maybe. Um, I'm looking for it. Uh, okay. Never mind. They're, they just ran away, started to back up. They ran away, started to play safe. That's fine. A little bit annoying. I thought they would, like, keep pushing up here and they'll be able to TP on this minion. The Rel sat in this bush for too long. Maybe she's just trying to clear a ward. I'm not sure. It might snipe this guy. Enemy has been slain. Living in the An ally has been slain. Enemy double kill. Earnest double kill, that's not good. So I need to make my presence known as far as like roaming and stuff. I I really want to get a roam bottom. I collect moments. Probably should pick up a uh Oh we should pick up a blue trinket. Yeah. 
Again, look how little damage Garen's Q did there. He's got Stridebreaker, right? Which is, you know, totally fine to try to stick on me, but he's got no damage. Got Nocturne close by, so even if Yone is coming up here, we're good. Looks like he stayed bottom. Mm, we gotta watch out for Yone. Can we get Nocturne out of this situation? Okay. I actually got a little bit of a moment here. Uh, what's happened to him? Did Trouble DC? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Okay, if. That's unlucky if Trundle DC'd right there right after that whole fight, but, I mean, it's what it is. Like, I, w I would perform, like, I would kill him the same way even if he wasn't DC'd. Um, I'm gonna get on this. Mountain Dragons are actually really good with my build since I'm gonna be building so tanky. This new thing in the league where you can share buffs, it's great. So now I can get every red buff I ever wanted and not be griefing my jungler. Oh. Nice. Got him. Oh, yeah. But we should just. I really want to cover top wave, but I guess I should rip him in. Probably get two turrets mid. I'm, si I'm not demolishing there, just so I can try to demolish uh, a little bit later on on this turret. Okay, maybe on this next turret. Man, maybe we just taking everything. I kind of want to get top turret. Or not top turret, uh, top wave. Because, I mean, this thing is massive. It's about to turn into a double cannon wave, I think. This next wave should be a cannon, yeah. Show the sin. Almost got my Titanic. So Titanic's next summoner build. And uh, this time it's going to give us a wave player that way we can, like, we can kind of split effectively down side lanes like a, a top laner usually would, right? But this also gives us a ton of AoE wave player. Um, or a ton of AoE damage in fights as well. Nice. Sniped him. I pinged on the way to it just so he wouldn't take the kill if possible. Okay. 
wants me to uh, take the little blue. Blue is obviously helpful for an Ezreal, so I can keep spamming. So, it seems like the terminal's DC, so I'm gonna do for y'all. Like, I'm obviously showcasing the build pretty well here, but I'm gonna showcase you that it's like, you know, you can do it multiple games in a row and be pretty effective against it. So, I'll record another game on top of this one. So, make sure to, you know, stay watching and uh, watch the next game as well, so you can see kind of how the early game goes against, like, multiple different champs. Assuming they pick something different than uh, Garen. Uh, let's get Baron and we can end. I guess I'm not gonna, maybe they're just waiting for this guy to re reconnect. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really strong. You know, I'm so strong that I'm pretty sure I could just kind of face tank the Yone at this point and kill him. Uh, but I do see that he built into armor, so he's probably going to like something like Death's Dance. So I'm going to build Cyril Dust next, which outside of my Iceborne Gauntlet proc, I'm going to be just permanently slowing even more. I'm going to have probably permanent red buff considering we have control of both our red buff and ours. And the fact that you can share red buffs now means, like, I'll usually always have one. And then, uh, I'm gonna have, uh, Sirolda's. I'm gonna have, uh, Myasborn Gauntlet to create a whole field of slow. So even if I don't hit the main target I want, if I hit something, I get the Iceborn Gauntlet, so. Oh, man, that's so much damage. Okay. Well, that's, uh, main person out of the way. Got... Oh, man. So, the also went stack shift, his stack shift proc, plus my, uh, Titanic proc. That's pretty good there. That was 1,300 damage that's dealt, by the way. Look at the permanent slows. This guy's just, like, basically dead. Well, Trumbull's back. I'm just gonna tank the uh, the turret for my team. Oh, she's not trying to avoid it. <laughs> I'm doing so much damage. Careful. Oh. Am I dead? Right, I'm gonna back. Looks like we can end anyways. Alright, GG. Alright, guys, yeah, I'll do another game. That troll did DC a little bit in the first time. I'm gonna show you I can do it yet again in the next one, so keep watching. I'm going up against a Pantheon, and we're gonna have a little bit of a different uh, Ezreal build. So, as you may have noticed, I start tier and I have Grasp. So. The idea for this video is I'm just going to be stacking up, building a super tank Ezra build. Super tank, super kite. Going to have multiple ways to kind of like slow down and, you know, plenty of ability haste to cut out our enemies. And also just be so tanky that even if they do get on us, it doesn't even matter. Like, I'm just going to be the slipperiest uh, Ezra possible while still doing a good amount of damage. So, as long as I do that and I buffer... Uh, Pantheon's, uh, Pantheon's hop on me with my E, then I should reduce a ton of damage. So that's kind of the idea for this matchup. And I do have two potions, I do have TP, uh, if, uh, he gets too much early poke on me. But, of course, I have, uh, I have scaling runes, and of course the grasp is gonna help, uh, sustain me as well. So even if I can't walk up and, uh, get that minion, I could potentially, like, deny, or, like, force him to, like, use his Q uh, to get certain minions, which is nice. Yeah, so, like, him having to use his Mortal Will proc and, like, me being able to zone him like this with uh, my W, like, him just walking up, totally good. And even if I can't hit the Q because he's standing behind minions, I was walking him and auto-attack him. If he Ws me, 
I just, um, I cut back with my E, and, I mean, that's basically this engage. Oh, I know where I'm going. Oh, wow. No way, that crit! Eh, oh, it's worth. I have TP. The wave's in a good spot. Oh, the mortal will crit on me was pretty unfortunate. But, you know, we're building first item is we're going to be building our Iceborne Gauntlet. Iceborne Gauntlet is going to give us plenty of armor so we don't get one shot by the Pantheon. We're going to be a-okay. So, let me explain this. So, Pantheon got the kill, right? He got first blood. But, we got a kill plus assist. So, we actually got more gold as a team. Because it's 300 gold plus 150 for the assist to him just getting 400 gold and because my wave is in such a good spot the pantheon's missing a ton of experience oh and also uh j4 is doing something very dirty he is going right back at uh the pantheon who was just ganked and is getting him again and yeah pantheon still fit <laughs> so i held the freeze with the teleport and my jungler was able to just regank him because the wave is in such a bad spot. Because the Pantheon went uh, Ignite. And look at this. I could just endlessly freeze, hold the lane in this position. They have a, uh, looks like a Shivana jungle. Maybe it's AP or AD. I'm not sure. Probably AP because of first strike. But Yeah, because it's a um, Shivana jungle, I really just... Don't have to worry about ganks. At least until she hits six and starts blasting me with the dragon fire. But yeah, here we go. I don't care about holding the freeze once it once uh, he gets here. I was just denying as many minions as possible. Oh, missed a minion. Well, so we're double CS and the Panthan's in a really bad spot and we're in a perfect position. Just sit back and scale to Iceborne. And again, he's going to have to use his... Uh, his Q to farm, basically. Every time I put that W on him, he's you know scared of taking the extra damage from taking my auto. So he's going to you know just hang back and uh, probably just Q. When I do that, that causes me just to have so much pressure over him. So, big thing here, I'm just going to look to shove this wave in. Got his E. Alright, got the wave shoved. Now, I'm not getting as many grass procs as normal, but, like, that's because... Because I have the grass, he's just sitting back doing nothing, right? And that's totally cool with me. Honestly, I don't even need boots. I just grab a crystal. Head back up. Looks like uh, Pantheon might have a ward on the G4. That's good. It looks like G4 picked up another kill somewhere else, too. So G4 is getting ahead. Their Shivana just got Dragon. So we need to make sure we try to get this Rift Herald. That was a very early Dragon by Shivana. She does get bonus damage, though. So, so Shivana went into bot jungle while my G4 is taking their top jungle. You know, I really don't have to take Pantheon shit no more. I could just kind of face tank him. I don't even have to, like, do any kind of, like, crazy mechanical outplay. You know, which, you know, buffering uh, Pantheon e isn't, or Pantheon W isn't too crazy. But I don't even have to do that anymore. Because I got the armor. Gonna build, like, start, keep stacking my tier. And what I'm gonna do now, since I've got the armor, and I don't really have to worry about the all-in... I could start shoving the Pantheon in. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't know if... I don't know if he lives. Ooh! Mm. Gonna back up from the, uh, the graves here. I'm okay. In fact, I'll probably just get a grass park on him. Wow. 
Never mind, I'm not good. <laughs> Man, Vagar didn't roam at all. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have bought boots. I got ran down. But, uh, anyways. Well, we got Shivana. The, the Graves mid just went for a little expedition in top lane. Dang, and I just got my flashback, too. If I maybe could have flashed a little bit of that damage, it would have been perfect. So, I'm still up, what, 18 CS? I've got the whole wave to get. We just scaling. Vagar, can you move? Nah. Well, I mean, to be fair, Vagar doesn't really move too well, but I feel like of that whole time, maybe Vagar could have moved. I just think uh, if you're playing Vagar or Anivia, I just, I can't expect those champions to move over. Honestly, probably Victor, too. Okay, so 80 to 55. I'm just gonna jump this wave super fast. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to uh, shove this in so that I can start getting some grass stacks under turret. Now, I think I already have, what, like 10 stacks? It's okay for the time being, but not the greatest. I have to worry a little bit because he's got his full Yamas at this point. Okay, looks like I got my overgrowth kind of stacked up. So I'm getting plus 36. I need to worry a little bit about him flash debuting me. I can actually TP. I've got my Iceborne Gauntlet in base. So what I can do with Iceborne Gauntlet, I mean, he wants to flash W me. That's pretty obvious. I'm just going to go back. I'm going to grab Iceborne Gauntlet, and that's going to provide me a little bit of slow. That way I can get a lot of damage on the back end if he ever tries to win me like that again. So the reason he had so much damage is because, honestly, Yomus is... Uh, Pretty broken item. In terms of the lethality it gives. So like that. Even if I don't hit him, if I hit a minion next to him, I still get the slow. And now I can just endlessly cut him. Look at that damage I can do to him. I have basically infinite mana. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to just shove this in as fast as possible. Getting the extra attack speed from my passive. And look, every time he goes to engage on me, he's slowed down by the perpetual Iceborne Gauntlet uh, force fields. He wants to get on me, uh, but he can't. And he's just slowed down every time, and his Pantheon is just, uh, he's getting all kinds of angry. Now, uh, I probably should ward below me. Not that I have to especially worry about a Shivana gank. But, you know. Ooh, that's some damage. Oh, -hoo -hoo! he's got to go back. And then, yeah, now I can just start farming endlessly on him with the Iceborne. He can never really get on me now. What he'll probably look to do, like, his only way he's really killing me now is if, like, like he goes back and basically um, ulties on me, right? But I should be fine. An enemy has been slain. So, I don't even need tabbies. I mean, most of our team is just like... Most damage I'm gonna take is probably from this guy. So let's build into mirror mana. So we can build in mirror mana, and then we can build up eventually into Titan Kydra, which will give us our wave clear. Right now we're kind of wave clearing just by constantly auto attacking using our ulti even to help keep the wave shoved in. Give me the coordinates. 
But with Titanic, we're going to be able to show basically Insta. And honestly, um, like maybe Titanic might even be a better option first before the completed Mirror Mana. We'll see. Just keeping this Pantheon shoved in is probably a little bit better. So he blocked that damage himself. But I'm totally fine. Like Pantheon, so I'm gonna ward here. Adventure is a perk. I can just I can keep my range against him. Oh, he's gonna try to hit a max range uh, Q on me. Oh, look at the slow. <laughs> even though he hit me with that, oh. Yeah, even though he hit me with that W, it's just like I don't really take too much damage. I am on the way. Okay. Nice. Okay, Pantheon got the big arm. Alright, perfect. I'm just gonna go back and TP to be honest. Um, and I'll probably just TP on the minion wave. Alright, let's go into mirror mana. Let's grab this. I'll TP on this wave, that way I can try to shove it in. Oh wow, we're actually going for a dive here. Ash used both thumbs to get out of that? Okay, not too bad. And that's the support Ash, so giving the shutdown to her is totally fine. I did not see Pantheon use this ulti. Epic said I have uh, a red buff on Ezreal, and looks like the Shivana is dead and they're about jungle, so I don't have to worry. It's like, oh, hey, let me uh, use my Yomus. Why, just endlessly pelt him? It's like, I don't even have to hit my Q on him. And I get the slow. I get the cutting. I'm actually totally fine. I'm totally fine even using my E at this point. Oh, I didn't cancel us back. Yeah. Mm. Probably hit like one of my cues so far. Okay, I hit the ones that counted though. Okay, I got a little triple kill for myself. Ain't too bad. And as you can see, like, this Pantheon with Yomu's rush is like, he's not even able to stick onto me at all. I'm just able to endlessly kite, and I'm not even into the majority of, like, this is just with Iceborne. And remember, I'm permanently stacking HP because of my grasp as well. Is that Ash Arrow? Or is that her E? I'm pretty sure it's her arrow, but I couldn't tell because it shot out the same time I shot out my old thing. Okay, well, I've got my mirror mana. Now we can build into uh, probably a team map. Grab this. Grab in a blue trinket as well. Okay, endlessly just spamming out Q is pretty broken on this character, it seems. Me, uh, let me go help my team cut a little bit.
Okay, I'm just one-shotting everyone? What? Oh my gosh, Mage Shift 4 just one shot that guy. And uh. Oh hi. And I uh, get my cooldowns back up. Okay, so we got the dragon. Looks like we're skilled up pretty good. Oh, and they just surrendered. Build 2 broken. <laughs> <laughs> 